the city of business, the Venice of Japan, the city of eat until you drop. This is Osaka. Hi, my name is Noah, and today we're in Osaka, Japan's kitchen. Way back when during the Edo period, 1603 to 1868, Osaka was starting to become this bustling seaport. Wealthy feudal lords started to realize that Osaka was becoming a place to invest in. So they started to build their own personal warehouses to store food goods and produce. And very soon after that, food goods from all around the country began to flock here. But even today, Osaka is beloved by Japanese food lovers all around the world. How beautifully ironic that my challenge here in Osaka is to try 25 local specialties in a day. My challenges in Japan have been a rough go. And now you're telling me all I gotta do is stuff my gourd in food heaven? You don't gotta pull my leg twice for that one. Itadakimasu! First stop, takoyaki, octopus balls, an obligatory must-eat food that originated here in Osaka. But these severely underperformed. They were way too burnt on the outside, way too gooey on the inside. Next, it's off to Korimon Market, the heart of the nation's kitchen, and a hub of pure deliciousness with 150 stalls. For food number two, I picked up some street eel, and it tasted exactly Exactly how it sounds cold and fishy number three take a look at those steaming scallops they were overcooked and dry this food tour is not off to a hot start number four Daiwa Ken is a shop known for its high quality Japanese fruits here I got a sweet and fresh mango pudding which hit the spot number five free sample you say black bean tea that counts as a local specialty right number six oyster but i regrettably forgot to put any sauce on that thing and i can tell you it was quite slimy going down number seven arc shell clam is the glorious cure for my oyster aftertaste number eight strawberry mochi tastes like candy no, really. Number nine, Takoyaki Redemption. Now this food tour is cooking. Number 10 through 16, I knocked out at this izakaya, including five barbecued skewers, which are pretty good, except for the rectum. A very okay soup appetizer and a shandy gaft. Number 17, Japanese fish pancake thingy. I waited almost half an hour for this thing and it was worth it. The custard inside is totally what makes it. Number 18, ice cream manaka. Whatever that is, let's just skip that. For number 19, we're going pure comfort food here at Waffle Con. It's gotta be impossible to mess up a late night chocolate chip waffle. We absolutely must have some okonomiyaki as a part of this Osaka tour. It is, after all, not only Osaka's, but one of Japan's most beloved comfort foods. Okonomi is literally translated as to one's liking, and you can have these babies any way you like them. What is okonomiyaki? People say it's like a Japanese pancake, but if you're hoping for softness and fluffiness in these babies, you ain't gonna find it, because they are stuffed with every topping you can think of from wasabi to cheese this afternoon i've come out to one of osaka's favorite okonomiyaki spots it's called ajinoya it tastes like the best seafood pizza you've ever had in your life with a sauce that could start global wars so I, I've run into some, some ladies who want to take my polar bear. My trip is pretty much over here in Osaka, so I'm gonna gift it to them. You want it? Oh, thank you, thank okay. you. Okay, okay. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, take good care of it, take good care of it. Teddy bear. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Number 21, can't get enough strawberry mochi. Number 22, kushikatsu is another legendary specialty here in Osaka. Which are these cut up mouthful portions of meat and vegetables that are like skewered, battered, and deep fried. The proportion of batter to meat or vegetable is 
absolutely perfect. Number 23, Ikayaki is a poor Japanese man's burrito. And to top her off, you can never go wrong with some salmon and gyoza. Osaka's weird. It's different from other places in Japan. The overall vibe, the people, the culture, it's got something different going on. I've never been to a place where the outside appearance of restaurants is part of the attraction. But make no mistake, the main attraction here in Osaka is what's going inside the kitchen. The food here is to die for the end of the road, folks. I've had an amazing last month traveling around Japan. One of the greatest real realizations this trip has given me is that China is my home, at least for now. And now I am more determined than ever to go back and explore all of its amazing destinations. So in one way, you know, things are kind of gonna go back to the way they were before, but we are upgrading here. Moving forward, I hope to apply the spin the wheel challenge element to my China videos. Thank you for coming along for the ride. I'll see y'all for the next great China adventure.